Hello everybody. Today we want to talk about a very important topic, uh, which is the connection design using Idea Statica software. So in Idea Statica software, as you know, we have the templates. So we have the templates for moment connections or rigid connections, and also we have the templates for shear connections. Definitely also we have the blank connection. So if you want to create any connection by yourself as a moment connection or uh, shear connection or even you know uh, semi-rigid connection so we can actually you know take advantage of the templates that we have in idea statica and we can design an accurate uh, connection uh, using this great software okay so what is the issue uh, sometimes um, you know we uh, may mis mis misunderstand actually you know uh, the behavior of the connection for example here I just, uh, you know, uh, had this connection type, as you can see here, I have the uh, beam connected to this column, and uh, also at the beneath of the beam, I have this, uh, you know, uh, let's say hunch. But the important thing is here, I have the, you know, a pure shear force applied to this uh, connection. As you know, this connection, so definitely, is categorized as moment connection or rigid connection. Okay, but here I applied only a shear, a pure shear force to this connection. Once I run the analysis, so I can see that you know the bolt forces at the bottom location is bigger than here. So at the top, the uh, bolt forces are almost zero. So what is the issue with this uh, connection? So how this problem occurred in Idea Statica, or vice versa here, I have, again, you know, this shear force, but this time I applied exactly, you know, upward, but one run the analysis. So again, I can see that the bolt forces, so is a bigger in this location compared to here. However, as we specified here, the maximum bolt force shall be here, correct? So it, it should be here. Because right now, I'm just, I have this, let's say I have this connection, and then here it is the, let's say, uh, uh, moment connection or rigid connection. So it doesn't matter actually, you know, what co uh, component or operation I have. Just imagine here I have the, uh, let's say, you know, the uh, connection. And once I apply the, let's say, the forces, so definitely, so it should deform like this. Correct? And then here we have the tension and here we have the compression. So we know that bolts usually will be designed for tension forces. And that's why once I have, you know, such uh, pure shear force. So here I have the, I have to have a bigger bolt force in tension compared to here, maybe here I have either nothing, zero, or a very, very little uh, force value here. But here it is exactly opposite. Okay, for, so what is the issue with this, uh, let's say, uh, connection? So let's go to Idea Statica. I will explain to you uh, why this kind of problem usually uh, occurred in Idea Statica. Actually, it is not, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, something wrong with Idea Statica. It is, uh, about the user should uh, understand exactly what software is doing. So let's go, come here. So right now I have the same connection that I showed you. And from here, it is the connection as you can see here. So I have this end plate connected to this column. And here also I have this uh, beam. And here I have this hunch is connected at exactly to the beneath of the beam and connected to this end plate. And here I have the weld and bolts. So a pure shear uh, force applied to this connection in this direction downward. So here I have load effect number six. And if I go to load effect number five, see here, I also apply this load exactly upward. So I want to just you know run this analysis and see the result of this 
um, uh, connection. Okay, so I can go to the check. And from here, I can run the analysis to see the behavior of this connection under this pure shear force. Okay, it is done. So now let's go to this view. And from here, just I want to, uh, first of all, right now I am in uh, load effect number five. So if I go to the bolt forces, to see the bolt forces. Okay, and just, you know, for review, so I want to let you know that, you know, LE5, uh, LE5 or load effect five, exactly, actually, you know, was in opposite direction, which means, in this direction. Let me just show you once again. If you go back to here, you see LE5 is exactly upward and LE6 is downward. Okay, so let me go back to check. And again, I'm here, LE5, which means upward. And from here, If I show you the bolt forces, see here. So here something is wrong because I have, you know, this shear force in this direction, but I, I'm getting actually, you know, the uh, uh, bigger force for the bolts at this location. And here almost zero. So I have nothing here. And here I have, you know, a little bit force in this bolt as well. But here, it is the, let's say, you know, the critical uh, location for the bolt, which is not correct. So we know that here, due to this applied load or shear force, so I have to have the tension force, a big tension force here, and here should be zero almost, or a very little value. So, or if I go back to L6, also let's see. So under L6 load, okay, so let me go back to this view, it's much better. So as you can see here, I have this direction, and again here I have the maximum bolt force here, which is not correct again. And if you go back to L5, see here, you have this one, and then here, you have the maximum bolt force at this location. As we discussed earlier, so here under this shear force, so the connection actually, you know, should be uh, like this, yeah? It should be, it should be like this. And then here it is tension and here it is compression. And then here definitely we have to have the, you know, maximum bolt force at the bottom part, not upper so let me remove this and then go back to this view i can go to okay so what is the problem with this so it means that right now actually i'm using the wrong concept why because i know that if i go to the for example new if i go to this type of connection so here I have, for example, here, as you can see, I have the moment connection. And here I have the shear connection. So definitely the connection that we used, so it's kind of this connection, correct? So you can simply take advantage of this template and then so it is the connection and it, it is categorized under moment connection. So the concept is that I selected a moment connection but I'm applying a only shear force to this connection to act as shear connection. So it is the issue. So what I can do with this type of connection? Let me before going to answer this question so I want to select a connection or let's say shear connection here to show you something. So for example, here I have this shear connection templates. So I will select this template, so which means this one. And also I will select this one. And also I will select maybe another one, which is this one. 
these three connections, I will bring it to Idea Statica and uh, sorry to do to the uh, main uh, interface or under project. And as you can see here, since I'm using the template, so by default I have the you know the shear force in the opposite z direction. If you go to the local access system, see here, you can see the applied shear force in this direction minus 100 kilonewton. Okay, so right now I have this one. Why I have only this shear force? Because, you know, uh, from the template, I selected the shear connection uh, template. Okay, if I run the analysis again from here, so I have to see that, you know, the bolt force at this location is bigger than here. But let's see. If I go to the here and also if I activate the bolt force again same problem happened so what is the issue with this uh, scenarios so here again I have you know here I should have the tension here and compression here due to this applying load and here definitely you know I had to have I have to have the uh, more or let's say maximum bolt force here but here a little bit or even you know zero depends on the uh, let's say connection or depth that we have here so it should be like this but not like whatever actually you know we are getting from uh, this analysis okay so let me go back to uh, bring another one so again i can come to here so this time i want to bring this one And again, as you can see here, I have the, you know, uh, shear force in opposite uh, Z direction with minus 40 here. And then if I run the analysis, so for this type of connection, uh, most probably the result is correct. So here, if I go to the bolt, okay, it's fine because here, if I go to the stress result, so here again, I have the tension and here I have the compression. So this is fine. This is fine. And later I will explain why it is correct. And if I just go back to bring another one, I can go to this connection and then the last one, this type of connection. And then I will select this and then we can discuss about it again. Okay, again, by default, I have this uh, shear force applied to the connection because I'm, you know, uh, bringing this uh, template from the shear connection. Okay, I will again go to the check option and then run the analysis. Okay, again, if I go to the shear, uh, or let's say SRS uh, results and here again this is also is correct here so the problem that we have it is with this connection first one correct if I run the analysis once again however I brought this connection from shear connection template but still if you go here you see that the Bolt forces is not correct. Okay, guys, let's ans uh, answer this question uh, and uh, this misunderstanding. So right now, if you go back to the design part, and from here, if you select the beam, so here you have the, you know, the uh, type of the uh, connection for this beam. So right now, as you can see, it is let's say, uh, you know, all the uh, degree of freedoms right now. Uh, are released so which means you can apply the moment you can apply the shear and also you can apply the uh, tension to this connection so once you have this see here if you go to the load effect so here simply i can apply the load and however i brought this connection from the shear connection template but still it it is acting as moment connection or at least if I go back here, see, if I go to the, for example, uh, you know, change the 
uh, type or behavior of this connection. For example, I don't want to, uh, you know, uh, have this uh, connection to behave as fully uh, moment connection, but maybe I can, you know, go to this option. And from here, so just I can apply the moment around the Y axis, so which means here. Again, if you run the analysis, see here, let me again run the analysis. Still, the result is not correct because still I have such a, a connection that act like a moment connection or moment behavior. Still is not correct. So what can I do? I can go back to, uh, to design tab, go back to here, and then from here, I need to actually restrict the uh, moment, all moment, and tell the software, so this connection is purely shear connection. So for this reason, I can go to the last option, so which means only I can apply the axial force, shear in y direction and shear in z direction. So if I change to this one, so right now I have this and also I have this cross symbol. So now if I run the analysis again, so the result should be okay. Let's see. Okay, that's it. So right now everything is fine. If I go to here, so Right now is fine because here, as we discussed, so here we have the tension and at the bottom we have the compression. So right now, so the connection is behaving correctly. So it is very important to understand the concept of the software and then always, because here we have actually, you know, a great, uh, you know, visualization uh, option in Idea Statica, so we can see the result we can you know see the contour of the stresses strain and also we can see the deform shape so if i come to here i can see the deform shape of this connection see here right now due to apply this uh, force so here i have the tension at the upper side and i have the compression at the bottom side so that's why so the concept here right now is correct because here i have to have the you know maximum bolt force at the top part not at the bottom part so right now so you can finalize that this connection is correct let's go back to you know one of this connection that we have you know at the and we discussed you know at the beginning so right now i have this and if i go back to design tab and if i want to apply only shear force to this moment connection even so i need to go back to the beam uh, member and from here so there is no way so you need to use this option okay the last option so you need to let's say restrict all the moment okay and then from here I can select this option so you have to have you know this uh, let's say uh, cross symbol so it is my recommendation to you once you have a pure shear force so always use the uh, last option which is only you can apply the axial force shear force in y direction and z uh, or let's say she shear force in z direction so right now i want to run the analysis again for this connection if you remember so you we had the uh, you know uh, wrong result so let me go to check option and from here i can rerun the analysis and again now I have to have the correct result because I forced the uh, software, you know, to, or let's say I forced the uh, connection, you know, to behave like shear connection. So here, if I go to this part, so right now, if I also apply this one, see here, right now, everything is correct. So I applied the force here, again, here I have the tension and here I have the compression. If I want to show you again from this view and also the form shape, so maybe I can increase the uh, deformation to 50 maybe. So you will see how this is behaving. So right now, everything is correct. And right now, if again, if I go to, let's say, load effect number six,
Okay, so here Sorry, uh, to load effect number five. Okay, so here I have again this one. And it is just, you know, behave like this. And here you have, you know, this kind of deformation. And here you have the tension. The maximum bolt force is correct. And here you have this small value of the bolt forces. Okay, so the conclusion of this uh, tutorial is that once you are applying a pure shear force, to even you know a moment connection templates that you selected so you need to specify the correct type for uh, you know uh, the member that you are applying uh, the force so and the last one if i go to the i have a copy of this model but right now if i select the beam if i go to the design tab again so right now I will select this beam and here I have the moment connection. See here, so the behavior of this connection is the first one. So I just adjusted, you know, to be, you know, a fully moment connection. And from here, if I go to the, for example, load effect number five, so I just applied, you know, a moment here. Okay, so you can just apply a moment here, even, you know, with uh, even a small value just you know to tell the software that i have moment and also the software automatically can understand that you know by default this is the moment connection and if i go to the load effect number six also i applied the you know moment here as you can see here i have a moment in this direction together with the shear force for load effect number six and here i have for load effect number five so now if i run the analysis everything is correct because i have the moment because you know the nature of this connection is the moment connection and i, I have to apply the moment it is another solution that you can actually take which means simply you can you know uh, put a, a small value for the moment here and then you can run the analysis just you know to let's say uh, cheat the software uh, but uh, as uh, previously I mentioned, the best way is to go to the, uh, you know, beam type. And from here, you need to just, you know, change the behavior of the connection from fully moment connection behavior to fully shear connection behavior. Okay, so right now I don't want to change it because already I have applied this moment. And then I can go to the check tab and calculate it. So let's calculate this. And uh, here, so everything should be fine again. Okay, so right now I have this. I can go to here. And once I just, you know, apply the bolt force visualization, see here, since I have the moment, so right now everything is you know, assigned correctly because, you know, the nature of this connection is moment connection and also I apply the moment. So the software understand and, uh, you know, correctly, you know, analyze the connection for us. And if I change the, let's say, analysis type to another direction, so which means here. So again, here, as you can see, so here we have the tension, sorry, here we have the tension and here we have the compression. And again, here, I have this maximum bolt force in the right location. Hopefully you enjoyed the, this tutorial, guys, and uh, please stay tuned with us to get the most updated uh, tutorial. If you have any comment, please leave your comments, you know, at the uh, below of this uh, tutorial. I will come back to you. And if you have any suggestion for next video, please let me know. I will try to uh, cover your uh, concern. Thank you so much and have a great day.